Hello my lovely Virgos, how are we doing my darlings? Now what we're doing here, if you've seen any of the others that I've done so far, what this is about is that when we had that big full moon eclipse on the 20th, 21st of January, it shifted things, it unblocked things, it's changed the energy and we are moving into a different energy now and we can feel it all around us. And my angels have asked me to do a little bonus extra reading for everybody, for each of the 12 signs to look at what's shifted, what's changed for each of you. Um, well, I say us for Virgo because I'm a Virgo sun. I've also got Venus in Virgo, Mars in Virgo and... Uranus in Virgo, lots in Virgo. Anyway, um, now at, on the 19th of February, we've got another full moon. This one's in Virgo. So I'm feeling that for us guys, that what's happening over the next few weeks up till the 19th, um, it's like Virgos are finishing off whatever it is that we're finishing off. So let's have a look what the cards have to say. So what's the overall energy for Virgo? Um, I do feel that... You know, many of the astrologers talked about that we really get our new beginning of getting past 2018 crap um, in March. And what they're telling me, my angels, is that as we go past the full moon in Virgo on the 19th of February, this is when everything unblocks and opens. So this one we had in January is kind of bringing us to a realisation of what we are finishing off ready for this new start. So what's the overall energy please for Virgo? What's the overall energy for Virgo for the next week or two? Okay, so we, as I was picking up there, we are still finishing off, all tied up. We're finishing off what's been pulling us back, holding us back, putting the brakes on. Now I want to go back, because this is linked I'm sorry if I'm sounding a bit disjointed. That's kind of the way I've been feeling for a few weeks. A bit disjointed, a bit uh, discombobulated, a little bit fragmented. Um, my head, my brain, my energy not quite flowing properly. And I know many of you feel that too. Um, so, yeah, the kind of the energy through January... Um, it's all been about letting go, finishing off, overcoming our addictions, letting go of control, um, really seeing things moving forward. The eclipse has shifted into what what are we what are we focusing on that is all tied up? I want another card with this. What are we all this is kind of the eight of swords, you know, feeling stuck, feeling trapped. Right, and here comes the angel of balance. It's all about bringing us back to balance. We need to come back to balance, guys. I, you know, um, I, I, I feel in, um, we've been working on this letting go of addiction stuff, yeah? Whether that be substances, cigarettes, alcohol, drugs, whether it's shopping, spending too much, um, because this energy is about getting us into a really nice, strong, solid, long-term, stable space. So those self-sabotaging behaviours that we have, you know, we go buying things we shouldn't be buying or, you know, getting into, uh, you know, relationships that we shouldn't be getting into, harping back to the past. You know, we're dreadful at letting go of our exes. We try and stay friends with everybody when actually what we should be doing is just letting go. So... This has been an ongoing kind of pattern, repeated pattern for many of us going back to July, August 2017 over the last 16, 17, 18 months. And it's the last bit that we're letting go of. The last bit we're letting go of. And it's all to bring us into balance. It's all the angels want us to have this balance. So can I have some clarification, please, on what's still being tied up? What are we still tied up on? I'll tell you what I'm drawn to with her is how coy she looks. It's like, oh, 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 don't, don't think that I'm bad girl. Don't think that I'm not perfect. Um, you know, I must let you see me always in my best light. Face on, hair done, makeup on, clothes perfect. We fear judgment. We fear rejection. We fear we're not good enough. It's hitting our values. That's what's tying us up. And that's what's got to go. Where we go, do you know what? I don't give a flying flip about your opinion of me. 
I'm good as I am. I am enough. I am good enough. And, you know, stuff what you think. That's what we're trying to come into to free ourselves from this restriction, from these, you know, these ropes that bind us, our worries about other people's opinions. Um, so, you know, I've been working on my uh, my addiction too, um, you know, and that kind of got stuck and stalled and then started again on the full moon and now I've got a handle on it now we're sorted now we're moving forward and it is to bring us into this balance so let me have a bit more information a bit more information okay yeah see it's what causes us our anxiety um you know this angst about you know I said there she's you know looking coy and looking you know very be pleased with me, be happy with me, must be a people pleaser, must have everybody on board, otherwise get really, really angst, um, feel betrayed, fear of rejection, fear that you're going to not like me, that's what it's all about and that's what we need to be moving away from. What else? Tell me a bit more about All Tied Up, what else is tying us up in knots? What else is tying us up in knots? No, that didn't want to come just yet. What else is tying us up in knots? Okay, money, security, stability. You know, are you doing that? There's never enough. Even when it's flowing, it's flowing well, it's coming in. Are you still worrying? Like, oh, yeah, but, 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 but. We're very good at the butts, aren't we? Especially when we get anxious, everything turns into a butt. Even when the money's flowing, even when work is flowing, it's like, oh, it's not flowing enough. You know, we go into that, it's not safe enough, it's not secure enough. It's all that stability. Bottom of the deck there, ten of wands. Yeah, and we want that to be finishing. We want that anxiety to go. We want that worrying about what people think to go. Tell me a bit more about this balance, please, this angel of balance. Let's have a little bit more about this very beautiful. See the pyramids in the background there? Power, connection, source. Uh, the pyramids are the anchoring of the energy for the earth um, that, you know, beams down from the universe. We've got the two of cups. We're wanting balance in our romantic relationships, in our relationship with ourself. Oh, okay, they're telling me, they're taking me back to this one here. So when we're talking, ow, that was a cheese grater yesterday. I grated my thumb rather than the cheese. I missed um, hurts as well. Um, when we're talking here about all tied up, we're very good at loving everybody else and not being judgmental to others. You know, we are so kind, so supportive, so tolerant. We're just bloody lovely, really, aren't we, Virgos, to everybody else? But aren't we a complete bitch to ourselves? That is where our weakness is. That is what needs to balance up. That we bring in as much love that we have for others as we do into ourselves, we need to bring that into ourselves. We need to stop doing the hypercritical, hypersensitive, telling ourselves off we're not secure enough, we're not stable enough, we're not earning enough money, uh, we're worrying all the time, we're worrying about what people think, and yet we're completely different with everybody else. We're just lovely with everybody else. So, this is what is wanting to come in the balance is about the way we view ourselves that we're as good and as loving and as wonderful as we view others we see the best in others it's time that we saw the best in ourselves what else do you want to say one more maybe two actually they're quite chatty aren't they <laughs> quite chatty right no not quite right what else Oh, there's the King of Wands coming in that's going to help you. So this can be a male fire sign coming in. It can be um, you being focused and strong and passionate about being able to bring this balance in. It's Wands, so it's work, but it's the way that we're viewing our life and ourself. This is what we've got to do to untie us. We've got to feel passionate about us and about life, about what we are, how we work, what we do, and bringing in the balance. So one more. 
one more please I'm hoping this makes sense because it is a bit disjointed and my head's a bit disjointed because I've finally let go of the one addiction that I've had for a long, long time, which is smoking. And I've let that go now. And I know it's crazy. Most of you won't expect that from me because, you know, I'm a therapist and I'm a hypnotherapist. But as I say with my clients, you have to be ready. You have to want to. And I wasn't ready and I didn't want to until... January and then it's like right and now I want to and now I'm ready but it's really affected my sleep and it's affected my ability to concentrate and focus but I'm halfway through all of that withdrawal rubbish and be out the other side soon um, so please bear with me all right we've got the wheel of fortune that is coming round now the end of a cycle the beginning of a new cycle so we can get out of this getting out of this, being tied up in knots about our anxieties and our worries, our insecurities and our burdens, that we're going to bring balance into the way we view ourselves and life. We're going to cut out the crap of giving ourselves such a hard time and being really worried about what people think of us. We're just going to be real, like I just was there with you, you know, that about myself, that, um, you know, oh my God, yeah, Julie Pearl smokes, oh, 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 big shock horror. Um, and it's like, yeah, I do, I did, and now I'm not. Um, it doesn't matter what our weak area is, we'll deal with it when we're ready to deal with it. And so we're coming into balance. We're coming into balance about the way we treat ourselves and the way we view ourselves, so that we can allow our passion to shine and to glow and to be felt because we can't have that passion when we're in this massive angst we just can't so we've got this new cycle let's get our head down and focus on the 19th of february when we've got the full moon in virgo let's Get rid of anything that is keeping us tied back so that we hit that full moon in Virgo ready to go, guys. Ready to go into the next phase, the next stage where we are liberated and we are in the zone. Fantastic. All right, my darlings, I hope that helps. Look what's on the bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups and the Queen of Cups and the world. <laughs> so you know this is what it's all about it's about us getting into a really happy space where we feel very in control of our emotions and calm and in a good place and we've got this whole big big new beginning this is little new beginnings this is big new beginnings okay so very very positive very powerful um use it harness it um, look at what is tying you up in knots look at what is getting you anxious and we're going to let it go all right my darling virgos i hope that helps and i'll see you for the weeklies very soon take care lots of love bye bye